Hi, it's Rick Smishek with Smishek's Custom Beats again today. And today we're going to be making a... I don't, know if I, I don't know if you can call this one a custom order because this one's definitely going to go up on the website. Um, but it is a specific request by a guy that I know on a, on a message board. The only way I know him is Murder Face. I've known him for years and years on the, on the same message board. And, uh, so we're, and we're also going to name this one after him. We're going to call it MF69. All right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pour some leeches, our hand pour mold here, um, and we're going to make a, a brown for the body, which is this first part up here, and then the tail is this part back here, which is going to be black. We use orange and black to make the brown, and uh, so let's go ahead and start cooking the pasta sauce. About three and a half minutes should do it. We're doing a, we're doing a half a cup in each. Uh, in each measuring cup because uh, it's just a whole lot easier to control the flow of the plastic saw. The hot plastic saw is coming out if it's a smaller quantity in the cup. I'm not sure why that is, it just is. So uh, we have a couple more minutes here uh, to wait for that. Um, we're also going to use some glitter. We use some, we use some small gold glitter in the brown and some silver holographic, no, just regular silver. It should be gold holographic. I grabbed the wrong one. Gold holographic glitter in the in the brown, and some silver glitter, medium silver glitter in the in the black. Um, we might also have to, for safety reasons, I might have to use the respirator today. It just depends on the airflow how it's coming through the garage. Um, <clears throat> if the fan is moving the fumes out far uh, quickly enough, I make it to where I can't smell them while I'm pouring. That'd be great because then I won't have to wear this. Uh, but if I have to put this on, I won't be able to talk anymore. Obviously, I don't have that thing on. But my health is more important. Um, all right, well, I guess we just have a couple of minutes to burn here now. Um, so let's talk about how we're going to do this. Um, I'll pour the body first. And if I see the... If I see the, the little, uh, as, as, this, as the body cools, they get like a skin over it. Um, and if, as, as soon as I see that, I'll set down the brown and start pouring the black on that one. And we'll, we'll start pouring some of the black and go back and forth. We might have to uh, set the different uh, cups in the, in the uh, microwave. We go 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds to heat at a time. Because uh, when you're hand pouring, the viscosity has to be very thin. Uh, so the so the plastic all flows to where you want it to flow. I tried to do this video the other day and I didn't have the black hot enough and it didn't flow and fill the tails. So they're all they're terrible. Yeah, see here's one of them. This is what this is what actually here's a couple of them. This is what happens when you don't when 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 it's not hot enough to flow properly. So we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna we're gonna make this uh we're gonna make this work right. <laughs> and uh, let's see where about. Let's go ahead and check the plastic on there. See how it's, see how it's doing. Always use a glove when you're picking up the cups of hot plastic all. You never know what could happen. I've seen pictures of guys on Facebook that have nasty, nasty, nasty burns. Big, great big, great big uh, blisters. Uh, from, from that stuff. They just well, they have them right here. You know, why not? I mean, if these were out, they have spares down there. <laughs> so there's no excuse to not use those. Now, I'm going to wear looser clothing for safety here. Just So if you do get hot plastic, you can pull it away from your body quick. Um, it cools off pretty fast when, when it, when it uh, hits the table or something. But uh, that initial hit could be could cause a lot of pain. All right, we're almost there. 30 seconds. I'm going to learn how to edit my videos so we can just put these in and say, hey, we'll be right back when this is done, cook it, and I say, hey, hi, everybody, welcome back. But we're not quite there yet, so. <laughs> we'll get there. Then my video should be a little shorter. I'm gonna shoot for the 15-ish 15, 15 minute mark on my videos in the future. Um, I might not make it there today. All right, let's see here. We need 350 degrees for I can smell that. Hold on. Put it over here. Uh, we need 350 degrees for conversion temperature. 
And this one I saw 347, so we're not quite there. Uh, we're almost there. Check the other one real quick. This one's not going to be there yet either. Guaranteed. This is only 300. All right. Let's put that back in. Let's, I'm going to do these one at a time. I'm going to bring this one up to conversion temp. Probably 20 seconds is more than enough. Uh, the conversion temp is where is the uh, the temperature at which the plastisol, which is in here, it's in this bucket. That stuff goes from being a liquid plastisol to being a plastic. It has to hit 350 degrees in order for that to happen. Okay, this one will be guaranteed solid enough. Oops, I didn't do that. Check this one, 366, that's plenty. Some plastic salts, you have to be really careful how hot you get them. Um, and others are a little more lenient in that regard. This is one of those. We cannot. We can run the temperature up a little hotter on that. All right, this next one should be about ready too. I already degassed the stuff earlier, so that shouldn't be an issue today. Today, Lazarus go over here. All right, 258 conversion temp. Okay, here we go. Okay, the stuff's already cooked. Um, let's start with the. Let's start with the black. Why? Because the black is going to be the easiest. Okay, we're just going to spur a little bit in there. And if I was doing this for an actual order, making these for an actual order, I would figure out exactly how many drops I need so I'm not wasting. Okay, that's, and as you see me lifting the knife up, what I'm looking for is to see how well I can see through the plastic to see the blade of the knife, to see the metal. And that's pretty good. This one will be, this one will be fine. We're going to let it cool down just a little bit before we put any glitter in it. Let's go ahead and start with the, let's get this brown made. Orange and black. Okay. That should probably be enough orange to start with. And since black is very, very, very dangerous, just one drop at a time. Black is a very powerful color. And you can always put stuff in, you can always add more. But once you put it in, you can't take it back out. So. Looks like in order to get a brown here, that's kind of still kind of orangey. We're gonna have to add another drop of black. There we go. One more. Come on, baby. There you go. Now, if it ends up a little too dark, we'll have to have to grab the bottle of white. Melt this a little bit. Alright. We'll melt that. There's some chunks in there. Make sure those chunks get melted so we can make sure everything's mixed properly. That can really change the color of your plastic if you don't make if you don't make sure that it's all mixed in like that. Your end result could end up being different than what you wanted.
Mm. It's still kind of orangish, isn't it? Let's go ahead and add another, another drop of black, see what happens. Well, there, now we finally have a brown. It doesn't look orange anymore. But since he wants a lightish brown, yeah, see, I think I like that, except I want it just a touch lighter, so I'm going to grab some white. Okay, now, this white has a really thin viscosity on it, so I'm going to have to be real careful. I always have to be super careful. White is pretty dangerous too. It's not quite as dangerous as black is, but it can still be dangerous. Let's try this. Just one. Let's see what happens. Well, there, I think I'm kind of liking that. I think that'll look, it doesn't look orangish. It's not too dark of a brown. I think we're gonna use this. All right, let's check the temperature real quick. 284, okay. That's uh, it's a little low, but we're gonna go ahead and add the, we should be able to go ahead and add all the, all the glitter. I'm adding the glitter to the, to the brown. I'm going to go ahead and bring the black back up to temperature. We're down to about 280. Oops. There we go. Oh. Now there we go. Okay, the gold in here. I just want to make sure you keep the keep the spoon that you use cleaned off. I, I tend to drop, wipe it, and then drop it onto the table to make sure there's nothing left on it. Oops, that's not on straight. Still not on straight. But I'll just get that later. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty darn good. You can see it sparkling. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Okay, we're going to bring this one. Let me get my glove on. We're going to bring this one back up to temperature. Seconds. How hot is this? Okay, that's pretty warm. Uh, let's go ahead and put this uh, put our silver in. Using this medium silver in the black. Using a little bit more of that of the of the silver because the black is such a thick color, it's harder to see the glitter through it. So you use just a little bit more when you're using these thicker colors, so you can still see the glitter. Okay, here's this, and that can shut up. Look at that. Some lumps in it right now, but that'll be taken care of when we when we nuke this again for another 15 seconds or so. Yes, yeah, you can see the glitter real nice through that. All right. Let me check the temperature on this brown. And if it's hot enough, we're going to go ahead and start pouring. And I think I'm going to go about 20 seconds. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit more. I'm going to go 15. And then we'll put, we'll put this one there. Um, Alright. We're almost ready to start actually making the baits. Okay. 
now I do believe this is going to be, oh, yeah, see that's super thin there. That's exactly what we want more hand for. Okay, here we go. We'll fill the bodies first. Let me check the black real quick. <clears throat> well, that feels pretty good as far as the Wisconsin. Yeah, I think we're going to pour this. I think that's good there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now we just wait just a minute here. And you know what? Maybe I'll... While we're waiting, that's still pretty warm that cup is. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and set these in here. I'll pour these again. I'll pour the rest of these off camera. But I think for today, for the video, Nope, I didn't fill them again. Let's try that one more time. See that? I'm not sure why we're not filling. We're gonna try this again. Must not be, must still not be hot enough. I don't do a ton of the hand pouring, as you can tell. <laughs> I do a lot more of the uh, of the injection. So this is a little tougher, um, but it is something that I like doing, is this here. Uh, double check the temperature on this. Let's, let's hit 348. I'm gonna leave it in here. Let's check this one here. There we go. All right. So, but what I do, you know, I probably should have done. So I should have come out and hand poured a bunch of them beforehand. Um, here's something else you don't you don't want to have is that right there, that that piece that was sticking out over the spout. We don't want that now. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick stir too. Make sure that. Glitter's all mixed up in there. It tends to settle. All right. See how nice that flowed? Okay, there's that. Let's double check this black again. I want this black close to 350, I think. Last time it was at 345, it didn't really flow too well. Yeah, we're, three, we're about 320 again. Let's go. Let's go 25. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm having difficulties with getting that black to flow. I've done, uh, I've done these before and they filled pretty nicely. Um, 
even have some up on the website that worked for work. It came out pretty nice. So I'm not sure what the deal is today, but we'll get it. All right, let's check the, check the temperature on the black. It should be okay this time. It's really it's got some fumes coming off. It's 360, a little over 360. We're gonna, we're gonna pour this just like it is. This should be, oops, I need to get rid of this. That was it right there. That one filled perfect. Not quite hot enough, I didn't have it. See, you can see it flowing. I've overfilled it a little bit, but it's flowing towards the end like that, just fine. That's exactly the way we want it. That's exactly the temperature we need. There we go, I think that's, now these other three filled out really nice. The first two, we'll go ahead and pull those out of the mold, but we're done for today. We've got this. Look at that. I think that is gonna be awesome once they're filled. <laughs> once we pull out the ones that are done right. But the colors look nice. Um, the glitter looks good in there. The colors didn't mix. So we have a couple of messed up ones. And I don't think I can pull the, pull the other ones just yet. I'll give it just a minute here. Uh, so basically we used three different colors. We attempted to only use two to start. Uh, we, used the, uh, we used the white in addition to the black and the orange today. Uh, but well, that's okay, that's why we have so many colors over there. Yep, those are all gonna be on the website soon. Okay, let's see if we can pull these out now. Go ahead and demold these. There we go. There we go. Okay, we have three good ones. These look fantastic, look at that. Those are gonna be, and the, and the I can already tell they're not, the, the, the action on these is gonna be awesome. Okay, with the, with the, because we used a medium soft plastic instead of our medium. And uh, there's a huge difference in the, in the flexibility of the plastic just from going from a medium to a medium soft. I mean, these are just, when you see them hanging down like that, these are gonna be badass. These are gonna be really badass. Murder face, I hope you like what you see. This is MF69. Right? You message me on Flame Warriors. If you don't like the if you don't like the brown, let me know. And for everybody, this is the end of our video for today. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave them below. And as always, if you like it, subscribe, hit the like button, and do like your mom said, share. All our moms taught us to share, so hit that share button too. And until next time, tight lines and calm waters.